Hello and welcome everybody. Tonight, for our Let's Play Live, we are checking out Escoba. This is a fishing game, a lot like Scopa, but it is played in Spain. This is the Spanish game. Scopa is the Italian game. So we'll be seeing a Spanish deck tonight. And the game has a pretty big mm, fundamental difference in how you collect cards. So let's go ahead and dive right into a quick little uh, look at the rules. And please be sure to sound off in the chat if you're here. Let me know you're here. All right, so Escoba is um, played with two players. So Scopa on VIP games. Scopa, Scopa was a four-player game, and you can play that with two as well. Um, and in fact, I think I prefer it with two. But it, with a four-player game, it's a partnership game. Uh, Escoba is just played with two. And the fundamental difference is that if you want to capture cards, you have to create a sum of 15 on the table within the pool or on the floor or whatever you refer to it. Uh, Dewey's in the chat. Thanks for showing up, Dewey. I'm going to be playing some Escoba tonight. Um, so yeah, you have to create a sum of 15. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. The Spanish deck is numbered one through seven, and then there's a like a jack, a knight, and a king, and those are numbered 10, 11, 12. However, even though they're numbered 10 and 11, 12, they are only worth nine, whoa, sorry, they are only worth eight, nine, and 10 points, respectively. So if I play a jack to the table, that has a sum value of eight. So I would add eight to whatever's out there to create to try to create a sum of 15. The knight is worth nine and the king is worth 10. So they have a, uh, a suit ranking, but they also have a card value that's different than that. And that's just how the game is with uh, traditional Spanish cards. Now, here's the cool thing. Both Scopa and Escoba can be played simply with cards ace through 10. Aces are one, and then you use an eight, nine, and 10. It is not the traditional way to play, and it's certainly not as flashy, but it is much more functional and approachable. So if you wanna give this game a try, when you first get into it, or Scopa for that matter, just play with cards ace through 10 in each suit. And each card is worth the value of the number on the card. So that is the big difference here. We are trying to collect groups of cards that are worth 15 points altogether. This does allow you to score an, instead of, in Scopa, when you sweep all the cards off the table, that is called a Scopa. And in this game, it's called an Escoba. Now you can also claim an Escoba in hand. So if you have 15 cards in your hand, you can uh, collect the points on them and discard them. Now the downside to that though, is you're not able to collect any more cards until your opponent has emptied their hand as well. So on the one hand, you're scoring uh, free points, but on the other, you're giving your opponent a chance to gobble up more cards from the table and kind of do what they want. Um, there's also, if you play a card to the table and your opponent sees that there's a value of 15 on the table and you missed it, your opponent can scoop it up. It's like a free turn essentially. Um, and that's it. That's the big difference. There's still special ways to score. You're trying to collect the most coins. You're trying to collect um, the most, you're trying to collect the seven of coins and you're trying to collect the most cards, and you're trying to get the most Escobas. Each Escoba, well, each Escoba is a point added to your game score. So let's go ahead. Uh, that's the gist. Let's just dive in and see how this game plays. 
and we're just going to go play against a computer. I've had a hard enough time uh, the, over the past week against the computer, um, let alone playing with real people who are used to the deck. So I'll go ahead and shrink my face down just a little bit. See, we got some more people watching. Be sure to sound off in the chat and let me know what you're playing, what you're into right now. So right now, you see we have a 10 on the table. This card is worth 8. So we have 8, 9, 10, 11. And if I add the 14, the 4 here, I can collect all the cards. Starting off with an Escoba. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, now see here, I don't really have a choice. I can either put a value of 8 of 5 out there or a value of 4 out there. I'm going to go ahead and throw my two. So now we have nine out on the table, and all I have is a three. So that makes 12. So uh, this, just like Scopa, this is played in sets of three. The opponent had 15 points in hand, so they were able to just discard those and collect them, or I guess collect them for points. Uh, so now we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I can add 3 to that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there's an Escoba. Uh, now, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw my king out there. And I have to throw my other card out too. And I think I get to go again right away. Nope, no, I do not. If I if I would have been the one to empty my hand. So if you see here, I have the seven, the seven of coins. Again, it's not called the Setabello here. I don't know if it has a special name for the Spanish game, but we, I don't really have any good choices to make here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I'm gonna throw my king out and just see what happens. I don't want to give up that seven of coins because if they have a knight, oh boy. Oh, no, perfect. I'm going to get the seven of coins right now. So one plus seven is eight plus seven is 15. Boom. And then, ah, can't do it this time though. Seven plus nine, nope. I just discard it. So Dewey, I have been playing, uh, I've been playing a lot of Skipbo on the app. It's a pretty fun game. So what do we got here? Six plus seven is 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna go ahead and collect this coin as well. Because that's 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. I'm going to get 3 cards doing this. And I'm going to get a coin out of the deal too. So right now my opponent and I are tied for uh, coins collected here. Okay, so that's 8. Nope. Um, okay, so I can take this knight and collect this 7. Wait. The knight is... Shoot, that's nine, so that's that's 16. Shoot, I can't do that. I'm gonna just discard the knight then. I really don't, obviously if I play this with people, I'm playing with a standard deck of cards, 52 card deck, a French suited deck, and playing with numbers one through 10 to make this as approachable as possible for people. Um, it is kind of cool playing with the Spanish deck. Um, I've got, I've got a Spanish suited deck and a couple German suited decks. And they're fun to look at and stuff, but I'll pick, I'll play with French suited any day. Okay, so let's see if I can get this seven here. So seven plus eight is 15, 14. No, I can't. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the king. But anyways, yeah, Dewey, Skipbo. Uh, the app it really makes it bite-sized for you. Um, you only play with a five-card draw pile, and you can play online. Oh, the app is just Skipbo. Um, I have an iPhone, so I downloaded it for free on my iPhone. 
Uh, let me see here. So we've got eight plus seven is 15. Again, I can't do anything. I'll throw the king out there. Ah, I got a five, that figures. So, well, this is eight, eight plus three is 11. Nope, I can't do anything. Yikes. Okay, there's an eight. Okay, so. Nine plus seven is 16. Hey, eight. No, I can't do it. Ah, this is so frustrating. Let's see if he leaves me something. Ooh, three cards. That is no good, and I don't have anything. But anyways, yeah, it's just uh, the Skip Bow app. Okay, so nine plus four is 13. Here we go, and I'm getting a coin. Yes, tied up for most cards. Got the rest, okay, I won the round, excellent. So I earned a point for having most cards, a point for having most sevens. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's not part of this scoreboard, interesting. A point for the most cards, a point for the most sevens, a point for the most coins, a point for the seven of coins, and my Escoba points, Escoba points. Sorry, Dewey, let me get, I'll get back here. Yeah, it's just the Skipbo app. Um, okay, so we got seven plus eight. I am gonna take, what? No, gosh darn it, I took too much time. Oh, okay, it gave it to me, Woo! But my opponent discarded. So yeah, the app is just really nice. You can play online, you can play with friends, and it says coming soon for that feature. Ooh, I will keep the coins. Uh, but yeah you when you play a game when you play online against randoms you nine i think i'm gonna get yes escoba <laughs> Woo! um you only play with a draw pile of five so the games move very quickly and then when you play against the computer or maybe even against friends when that feature becomes available, you can play with draw piles of five or 10. And I think that's perfect. Um, seven, yeah. I'm gonna keep hold of that coin card and see if I can get it. They did get this, ah, man. Whew. Well, they're probably gonna steal this coin from me. <clears throat> So six plus three is nine. I don't have enough. Nine plus five is 14. I'm not gonna throw that out there like that. Nine plus four is 13. I'm gonna try that. Or nice, sometimes I don't have 40 for skip out, right? Oh, I gave him an Escoba. Oh. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Um, now the only, Thing that I have an issue with is the Phase 10 app. For, it's the same company doing all three apps, Skipbo, Phase 10, and Uno. And for some reason, they just really botched Phase 10. It's super, you don't have to pay to play, but if you wanna be able to play as much as you want, you're, I gotta figure out how to get some free coins. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why does he always have the card he needs? The card he needs. But with phase 10, they do the same thing. They make it more bite-sized, but I think it really harms the, the game. Cause you only play like, I think you only play three contracts and there's a lot of luck of the draw going on there. Dang it. Take the coin, right? No? Oh, this is good for me. Okay, so six, that's 13. I can take three cards or I could take the coin. Or no, I can't take the coin. So I'm gonna do three cards. 
I can still close that gap between. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. So that's nine plus three is 12. I'm gonna put another king out there. Another king, oh my gosh. All the kings are out on the table. Oh, this is good for me. Okay. So 8 plus 7 is 15. Or 4 plus 3 is 7. Ah. Yes. So oh, I don't have any. Oh, I hate this. There's too much thinking. Uh, 8, 9 plus 7 is 16. Okay, I'll just take those two, I guess. I think I could have got a coin. Oh, they just took three cards. This is not good. <laughs> oh, man. What's going on today? BSN's in the chat. Oh. Well, I'm playing some Escoba. Man, I'm going to not take these cards. He gets them all. Wow, I just got spanked. Um, no, suit doesn't matter, only rank. And I'm going to suggest just playing with a one uh, cards 1 through 10, or ace through 10 in each suit. And coins, I think coins are... Oh, shoot, what are coins? Coins translate to diamonds, I think, if you want to be specific about it. But you can make any of the four suits the special suit, I guess. Uh... So eight plus seven. Oh man, I want that six of coins. Okay, they've already taken one coin card. I still, um, spoiler alert, I, I prefer Scopa over this. There's way too much math going on here. So seven plus three is 10, which sounds pathetic, I know. Ah, seven and six and two, bam. Bam. I was winning. They spanked me pretty hard last last time. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take you and you and you. Get another coin. Yes, and I'm going to take the king, the one, with my four. Nine plus nine is not going to work. Oh, coins in hand. Oh, I am such a dummy. I left 15 out. I just gave him free cards. Son of a gun. Oh my gosh, so eight plus six is 14 plus three. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna put this one out there and hope that I can take it. He's probably gonna sweep the whole table. Nope. Okay, so we have 14, four plus eight, that's 12. I'm gonna throw the four out. I see an Escoba coming. Nope. Dang it. Okay. I have an Escoba in hand. But if I take 8 plus 7, I'm going to get a coin. I could get three cards. I think the three cards are more important than the coin. Oh, man. All right. Okay. Oh, well, a lot of good that did me. A lot of good that did me. <laughs> Put another jack out there, I guess. Okay, so that's eight 
9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, this makes me so mad. So I'll put this out there, and they have another two. They have another jack. So <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So ridiculous. Well, let me know what you think of the game, guys. Uh, I guess I can kind of move my face a little bit out of the way there. Uh, is this your jam? Well, I'm taking the seven of coins. That's a point. <laughs> oh, man. And it's first to 11. Oh, boy. Yikes. 13 to 10. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I actually won my first game of this earlier today. I've been playing all weekend, trying to get it figured out, and I still couldn't tell you what I need to play uh, when I, like what I need to discard. But it's fun. It's fun. I'd rather play Scopa, but. Okay. Man, at the seven. So that's eight. I think I will take. Wait, that's nine. Dang it. Eight plus six is 14. Why can't I think? Uh, 13, eight plus. Ah. It played for me. I really need more time to think. <laughs> this thing is rushing me. So here I can take this now. No, it's nine. Nine plus seven. <sighs> okay. I'm going to throw the six out there. And hope they don't have a one. Okay. Well, they did that. So I'm going to go ahead and play. Take this with this. And I got two. Ooh. So eight, six plus seven, 13. Nope, can't do that. Oh boy. So eight plus five. I'll throw this out there. Yeah, you're right. BSN, this game is too mathy. Too mathy. Okay. So five plus five is 10. Plus seven, seven plus six. 7 plus 6 is 13. 8 plus... See, there's 15 out there, but I can't decide how I want to go about it. You can take 15 from the table. Oh my gosh. I, I missed the total. Yeah. six. I missed the total. That's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> so 5 plus 8. Nope. 5 plus 7. Nope. I like how it has a cribbage feel because of the 15s and easier for me than Scopa to understand. Hmm. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, I will take eight. Eight plus seven is 15. Oh my gosh. I got him. It helped me. Yikes. But I gave my opponent an Escoba. So that really wasn't that helpful. So Dewey says he likes he likes this more than Scopa, or at least he likes the feel of this more than Scopa. Oh, 11, 12, 13. Oh my gosh. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, this might be more your jam. Um but it is certainly not mine. I mean, maybe if I was able to play it on the table and have all the time I needed to think, but. That's 10. Okay, so we have 10, 13. I'm getting an Escobar. Escobar. Boom. That's a point. 
I need to get some more coins, but I don't think that's happening. All right, we got eight. Plus six is 14, plus one is 15. Yeah, I'm taking three. Oh wait, this is nine. So I'm taking two. I'm gonna do it that way. I want the coin. I want the coin. Oh <laughs> my gosh. This game is brutal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. I can't take anything. Nine plus five, fourteen. Eight. Yep. All right, eight to one. This is not a good start for me. I just, I'm not sure what I need to be discarding when I'm unable to capture anything. I'm not sure which direction. And Scopa, it's easy. You just don't, you don't make it. So if you just don't let there be less than 13 on the table. All right, so we got eight, nine, 10, I want that five of coins. I think I could have. Oh, I couldn't. No, I don't know. I couldn't have taken it. Well, they took it. Oh, what was I missing? What was I missing? Oh, my gosh. So. Eight plus four is 12. Eight plus six is 14. Yep, I can't do anything. 12 plus 4, 16. Ha! Uh, oh, I can take. I think I'm getting an Escoba. Nope, because I'm a dum dum. I can't do math. 6, 6, and 5 is not 15. But six and six and one is not. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so we got five and 11. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Six plus four is 10, 11. I guess I'm taking, that's five. I'm not taking anything. Yes, I am. Right here. Gosh, dang it. It did it for me. I really hate that timer. Go high, minimize 15s for opponents with Escobas. Low cards are more versatile in hand. Interesting. I'll give that a try here. Dang it. I have to... Dewey says go high. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a try. I can take this with this. Right now he, I do have, ah, he's got more cards and more coins. The seven of coins is still not shown itself. <sighs> Go high, I'll play a king. Hopefully they don't have a five. There's the king. I will take the king of coins. Thank you very much. Check it out, it's already working. Yikes. All right, the seven of coins is in my grasp. I dare not waste this opportunity. I got an Escopa. I have the lead with cards. I do not want to throw that seven out there, but I need to. 
If they have a jack, they're taking it. If I throw this out there and they have a king, they're getting in a scopa. In a scopa. And then I have to lay the coin anyways. But if I lay this and they have a five, they're going to get that and an escoba. Okay, nine. Nine plus seven is 16. So two plus seven is nine. Nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. Two plus nine is 11, plus three is 14. I am not getting it. Oh my gosh, they're going to get it. Okay, that's all right. They took three, and I am taking the seven of coins, baby. Yes. Yes, this round. So, I don't want to say it. I don't want to jinx myself. So, that's nine. Plus four is 13. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get another coin. Yeah, in regards to uh, Spanish decks, uh, I am a huge fan of Fournier. It's they are out of Spain. Um, they are owned by Cardamundi, the same company that owns Bicycle. So we've got nine plus three is twelve. I can't do anything. I can't capture anything. Well, I'm not going to throw more coins out there for them to collect, that's for sure. Ooh, 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 2. Oh, my goodness gracious. Come to Papa. And then I can't do anything, so discard. But if they can't capture anything, I get those cards. Yes. All right, this round was mine. And I shut him out. So now we're back in the game. We're back in the game. But yeah, Fournier uh, decks can be found on Amazon very easily. My tarot deck. Here's what I got to put up with already. Escoba and dealing. Oh my gosh. What a load of crock. Uh, Fournier. I have a Fournier, Fournier uh, French suited tarot deck which is awesome. Piatnik is another great uh, brand. So uh, in the chat, Piatnik is mentioned. That is a great brand for sure. And I think I have, I have to check. I think I have, I have, oh, I have two Piatnik decks actually. Those are my German suited decks. Thanks for joining me. I, I am so sorry. I know you've been in my videos before and are in the chat, and I can never remember your name. It's in, it's in uh, kanji. I can't, I can't read that. Uh, seven plus six plus seven. I got nothing. I'm throwing the king out. Oh, I could have collected that. Uh, so seven, eight, nine plus six. But now, <laughs> happy accident. Seven plus nine is six. Whew, yes. Yes, Nefertari's in the chat. Hey, welcome. Yeah, Escoba is a different beast. I am not sure I'm gelling with it as much as Scopa. So, oh, I'm going to go ahead and take the king of coins. I'm having a good round now. I, I guess these uh, you guys that just joined, you must be my lucky charm. I was losing eight to one after uh, two rounds ago. All right, so if I play the three, I can take the two and a king. And that's what I'm gonna do. All right, that's all right, you got the coin card, but we're still tied. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Zanku, Zanku, uh, discard. 
All right, Zanku, I will do my best to remember. You don't need to make it. You don't need to anglicize your name just to, for my benefit. But Zanku, you've been in a few, uh, you've come and watched a few videos. I really appreciate that. Okay, so we've got nine plus four is 13 plus the two. Oh, I think I can do this. Yes. And I'll take you. And then I got to throw this seven out there. Oh, that's 13, 14, doggone it. Yeah. So you only get to see the way this scores very quickly at the end, but there are there is a point earned for most sevens. I don't know why they don't keep that up here on the, I guess, yeah, they, they don't put this up here on the scoreboard. So six plus six is 12, plus one is 13. Eight plus six, oh, Escoba! The Fratari, I found a bunch of Italian decks at a local Italian deli type store. Great find. Grabbed a, a well, maybe, that, I don't know what that brand is. Hope I said that right. Uh, Piatnik, Piatnik. Um, let's do, I guess, oh, six of coins. I'm just throwing change out there. Come on, throw something little. Yes. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Boo. No. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, shoot. Look at all those coins. Nine. Oh boy, okay, so six. Okay, so I'm gonna take you and you, six and five, and you. Jingle, 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 coins all day, baby. All right, he got the other one. Uh, I guess I'll discard the, the knight. And we've got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, nine, 10, 11, I'll take you too. Oh yeah, and I got the rest. 10 to nine, are you kidding me? I was one point shy. So cards, most cards, most sevens, seven of coins, most coins, and Escobas are one point towards your score. Zanku, Zanku, and then to the channel, CH. Uh, that's nine. I'll put the four out there. We'll see if I can scoop that up with a one. Oh, I certainly can. I'll take the one. Oh, wait. Nine plus four is 13. Ah, oh, for four plus three is seven. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm not gonna throw that coin out there quite yet. Come on. Oh boy. Oh no, come on now. They are running away with it real quick here. Eight, nine, 10, oh, Escobar, Escobar for me. Sweeping up, sweeping it up. Just give me the broom, where's the broom? <laughs> All right, we got three. I'm gonna throw that king out there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's eight, nine, 10, 11. Nope, I'm gonna throw the king out there. Throw one down, bro, throw one down. There's a five, okay. Ah, oh, he took the king. Okay, eight, nine, 10, 11. And here we go. Thank you, six of coins. Coins, 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 coins for me. <laughs> Mm, all right, so we have 10 and a three. Okay, so seven and an eight is, seven and eight is, wait, yeah, seven and eight. So 
Okay, that'd be that'd be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nope, frick! Ah, it's gonna do it for me. Oh my gosh. Okay, well it does it for me. And I gave him an escuba. Oh my gosh. This is not how I wanted the game to end. So I can still win, even if they get to 11. If I cross 11 and have more points than them, I can win. <sighs> Unreal. Okay, well, I'm getting an Escoba right now. <sighs> That's two game points. So I'm at 12, and they are at 11 based on the scoreboard. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not getting the coins. Am I... So seven plus seven, eight. I'm gonna get another Escoba. All right, that's three game points. I might still pull this out. Omodiano, the regional design is Piacetine. There were many designs to choose from. That is really cool. Because I don't have anything like that. Seven. Oh, they're baiting out that dang seven of coins. I don't. I need that point. I need the point. I got to hold on to it, Dewey. I know you. I should probably get rid of the high card. I can't take it though. I can't take it. Oh man. Yes, I got him. <laughs> yes. 15 to 13. Man, that was close. That was intense. Oh, okay, so I'm one and one tonight. And that was a good, that was a good game. Okay, the game's growing on me. I'm getting used to the, the cards, but still. I think I'm going to, I mean, playing with uh, just cards one through 10 is the way to go. But that's really cool, Nefertari, that you got, uh, you were able to find those decks. I don't have anything like that. We have, um, I think two, all we, all I have where I'm at is two, um, uh, like uh, two little Asian markets. I don't have any kind of Italian stores or any, any kind of germ, you know, nowhere I can go to get decks from other countries or decks of cards or games for that matter um it seems i've actually heard other people um well people i know up in canada have mentioned a couple times being able to find really good finds in thrift stores and i again in my area i don't have any good thrift stores either so just your basic like goodwill and for i mean i go in there once in a great while but i never see anything good Doing his decimal says high card as a general rule. Yeah, but, and that worked out in the long run. So I got those cards at the end. That I couldn't believe that win, guys. That was awesome. I, I was down eight to one and I came back and took it. So I'm one and one. It's 1040-ish. Let's go ahead and do one more, one more game. I should end it on a high note, but we've got time. Whew. I am not sure what I'm going to play next week. I want to play something new. Um, I'll have to check here on VIP games. I still need to figure out what what is... Hold on one second. 9 plus 7. Oh, it's 16. Okay, so that's 8 plus... 7 is 15. 4 plus 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. I can't take... Okay. Okay, if I throw this down, come on, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Yes! Seven plus four plus three. And I got some coins. Oh, wait, what? Seven plus four. <laughs> Daggone it. Ah, seven plus two is nine. Plus, oh my gosh. Seven plus eight. Okay, so eight plus four is 12. There we go. This one. 
Okay. There we go. Good lord. I still won't need that. Aw. Here we go. Bow, bow, bow. Escoba. And I now have most coins. And I now have the seven of coins. So I've got two points on the board so far. One point for sure. I'm going to throw that king out there. The two kings can hang out. Looks like splitting pairs may be good. Uh, if I have 228, throw a 2 to keep options open. That's a good point. I will keep that in mind too. Yikes. Uh... Yes, 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 boom. Three cards for me. Oh, man. But yeah, Nefertari, I think this is um, this is growing on me as I play here. That, Vic, that last game really made me like this game a lot more. <laughs> okay, so I got nothing. I got nothing. Ooh. Ah, so they got sevens. Oh, man. Um, so if I throw the one, I can take three. And then I get to keep the fives. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then, perfect. I'm going to get an Escoba. Escoba! And that brings me up to most cards. I got the seven of coins and I've got two Escobas. So that's two points on the board automatically. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have most sevens. Yes. All right, so we got nine, 11, 12. Or just nine. Here's nine. Plus nine plus six. Beautiful. I will take these. That's eight. Eight plus four is twelve. Not good. Ah, yes. Man, he's probably going to be able to get an Escoba here. Oh, that's five. Yikes. Ay, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yikes. That's three coins. Eight plus seven. Escoba! Another point on the board. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna get the last two cards. So they still get they still got most. So I had most cards. I got the seven of coins plus three escobas. And they got one point for having the most coins. Neither of us had most. They most of both got two sevens. Man, that is awesome. All right. I'm on a roll. Okay, so eight. So four, seven. There we go. There we go. Starting off with the coins. Two coin cards. And then eight and seven. Eight and seven, or uh, yeah, that's my only option. Okay, five cards for me, none for my opponent. Two for them, that's all right. And possible Escoba, no, not for them. And it's my turn with a full slate of cards on the table here. We got a nice variety. So if I throw the two, No, I can't do anything. Zanku says, for one thing, the picture cards are hard to get used to. I sometimes get confused. Yeah, definitely. It, this has taken me a long time to forget. Not, not only are there picture cards, but then there's a number on them that has nothing to do with the game. That's not their card value. Okay. Oh, I just 
gave them coins. So yeah, just play with cards ace through 10. Aces are ones. That's all you need. And then the cards are worth the value of the number on the card. So we got nine. We've got 11, 12, 13. Yeah, this is terrible. This is terrible. So they got an Escoba. They've got most cards and more coins so far. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I, I can take three cards though. So that's good. That was a nice play. And then I can only discard. 9 plus 7 is 16. I can't do anything. Oh, sweet. So that's 9, 10. I'm taking 3 again. But they might be able to sweep that for an Escoba. Yep. I might have been better off throwing the king out there to try to... I don't know. It's super risky. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh man, they gave me the seven. This is the, this is eight, 12, 14. All I gotta do is throw an ace. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of coins. I'm getting the seven though. Booyah! Woo! That's a that's a point. That's a point. Well, I just if I can get some escobas here in the end. So eight plus six is fourteen. Nope. Oh man. Okay. Come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. I should have. Okay. No. Yay. One, two, and a coin. Come on, baby. Twelve. Nope. Come on. Have nothing. Have nothing. Have nothing. Yes. I get them all. <laughs> the round is mine. One point for most cards. One point for the seven of coins. We ha both had the same amount of coins, and they had two Escobas. Up. Seven to three. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay. And Escobar in hand. Hey, thanks for stopping in, Dewey. You have a good night, too. Let's keep it rolling. This will be the last game, guys. This will be the last game. Let's finish strong here. Seven. Oh, shoot. Uh, six plus nine. Boom. And I got a coin card. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I'll throw that out there. Oh, and I have to throw the last one out. Oh, and the bot gets to go. Hey, I took the seven. That figures. I have an Escobar in hand. That's three cards and two coins. I'll take it. But my opponent gets to... Ah! Are you kidding me? <laughs> so sometimes it might not be better to do that. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. So now if they have a five, they're going to get an Escoba and a coin. All right. That's fine. I will take that with you. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're giving they're making me work for it here. Okay. So that's eight. I can take a coin or I can take actually I'm gonna get three cards and a coin right now. Yes, tied up for most coins. I have the or tied up for most cards. I have the most coins. They are getting those Escoba points though in the in the set of bellow point. I am gonna 
Yes. Another coin card. Yes. Okay. I need one more coin card to clinch that point. If I can take the most sevens, I will be at 10. It's, I might be able to swing this, guys. I'm going to take this. Get that coin. There it is. I've clinched the coin point. That's eight. And this is seven. I'm going to get an Escoba right now. Nope. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Eight plus eight. Burp. Dang it. I will take two cards. <laughs> uh, simple addition, I tell you what. And then eight plus eight. Again, 16. <sighs> Last chance here. Oh, and I got a whole bunch of coins in my hand. Okay. Eight plus five is 12. That's a dangerous number. Eight plus five is 13. They had the two, of course. Now they have the majority of cards, or the most cards so far. They've taken the last group, so they get the last three. So I got I got two points, and they got seven that time because of all those Escobas. That was harsh. All right, this is it. This is it, the final hand. It's all 10 to nine. Can I pull through? I'm going to start off by taking the seven of coins. And that's fine. Uh, that is fine. They can take three. I've got that one sure point. <sighs> yes. Okay. Ooh. Six, seven, I can take that. So three and four. Ah, oh, I gotta get some coins. So there's five, yep. But I want more sevens. Let's focus on the coins. Focus on the coins first. I'll worry about the seven later. <laughs> oh. 13. Oh, man. So we're at 14. So 9 plus 6. I can take that. 8 plus 7. I can take two cards. I'll take three all together here. Now we're tied up for most cards. I have the coin, the 7 of coin point. And I have most coins so far. I'm about to take another coin. But it leads a possible, whoo! I left a possible Escobo on the table. That was lucky. I don't have anything I can do. Now well, they got a coin there. That's all right. It's still 4-3. I have an Escobo in hand. I'm gonna get two coins if I take that, so let's do it. And I did not leave in a scuba. Okay, okay. All right, doing well, doing well, okay. So six plus seven is 13. Are you kidding me? Six plus seven is 13 plus three I'm one, three off. And of course, this is gonna. Mm. Oh, man. Now they're up 18. I, I, I've clinched the coin point. And now we're tied for Escobuzz. That's gonna hurt. That hurts. Last three cards. Oh, oh, that is so rough. That is unbelievable. 
I just discard the, the rest. They get the rest of the cards. Wow. What a close one. 14 to 10. Unreal. All right, guys. Well, that is it for me. Thank you so much for uh, joining me tonight. I've got more how to play videos coming out this week. I will be live next Monday for uh, the last Shoot the Moon episode of the year. The main topic will be my top games, the Triple A winners, the Anytime, Anywhere award winning games that I've played in 2021. I uh, don't know what I'll be playing next week or next Tuesday for the Let's Play Live, so that'll be a surprise. And um, my goal is 200 videos by the end of the year, and I'm on track to do it if I really buckle down here over the next couple weeks. So I've got a bunch of how to play videos planned to be released over the next couple weeks. Thanks everybody for joining me. Escoba is pretty cool. I think I like Scopa better, but I appreciate Escoba for what it is for sure. And if somebody wanted to play it, I would say, hey, you sure you don't want to play Scopa? And if they really wanted to play Escoba, I'd, I'd give it a go. So thanks everybody. Have a good night and have a wonderful week, whether you're celebrating Christmas or not. Um, for those of you celebrating Christmas, I hope it's a merry one. And for everybody else, take care. I'll catch you next week.